What up, nerds? Jared Santo here with changelog.com. Hey, let's set up a personal self-hosted VPN server in the cloud with Algo VPN, shall we? Now, you may be wondering what Algo VPN is, and if so, we have a solid podcast episode with Dan Guido, creator of Algo VPN and CEO of Trail of Bits. I will put that link in the description if you want a deep dive on Algo why it exists, what it does, who's it's for, as well as a very interesting conversation about the commercial VPN industry, which can be a minefield to navigate. So Algo is basically a set of Ansible scripts that will set you up a personal wire, wire guard and IPsec VPN. And we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I have never used Algo, but it looks like it's pretty simple to get started with. We will be building it for DigitalOcean today, but as you can see, it supports many cloud hosting providers. Hopefully your favorite provider is on the list. If not, it's open source, and I believe they are accepting PRs on adding additional cloud hosts. So step one, we're gonna get a copy of Algo, and we will just clone the repository onto my local machine here. There we go. So here I am. Uh, Algo is, as I said, Ansible, so it requires Python. Looks like Python 3.6 or later. And I do have Python 3 installed. How do we get the version number here? Hopefully just that. Yeah, so Python 3.7.5, so I'm all set. Installed via Homebrew I am running on macOS. So we do have some dependencies. First of all, virtual env. So let's go ahead and get that installed. And that's it for Mac. If you're on Linux or Windows, you can follow those instructions. And some additional dependencies. So we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste this and let it do its magic. While that goes, let's go ahead and just read a little bit further down. Now, there is some configuration to do in one of Algo's features is that it doesn't do a lot of the things that many other VPN softwares do. These are called anti-features in the readme, such as uh, legacy cipher suites, Tor, other such features that you won't need. And that being said, uh, it's pretty easy to get started with, but there is some configuration that you can do. Namely, you can set up different users. So it looks like we are good here. Just pop this open in Visual Studio Code. And check out that config. OK, so the first thing we will notice is the list of users. Now, one thing to note is you may think you just do one user per person, but it's actually per device. So you can see the good examples here, phone, laptop, desktop but they support up to 250 users at a time. So if you wanted to set this up for your friends or family, add their devices here, you could host a personal VPN for them since they probably or may not have the skills to do it on their own. That would be pretty cool. So we have the config set up. I'm just gonna leave it at as is. As you can see, there's lots of different things you can do. But again, one of Algo's features is that it has made all these decisions for us we shouldn't have to worry about such things. All we need to do is deploy it and run from there. So we've set our configuration offers. Uh, it looks like all you have to run is this, run dot slash algo. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. And it's gonna ask me a few questions. First of all, which hosting provider? DigitalOcean. Name the VPN server. We're just gonna leave it as algo, why not? Do you want Mac OS slash iOS clients to enable connect on demand when connected to cellular networks? Let's leave it off on cellular and let's use it only on Wi-Fi. How about that? Do you want it to connect on demand when you're connected to Wi-Fi? Yes. You can list some trusted networks. This is cool because if you have a home Wi-Fi or a work Wi-Fi that you know is secured, you do not need to run your VPN for those Wi-Fi's, so you can just add them to the list here. I'm gonna leave mine off 
<clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to leave mine off because I'm going to connect on Wi-Fi, but hey, we want to see if this thing works. So we want it using the VPN even on my home Wi-Fi. Let's just leave that blank for now. Do you want to retain the PKI keys? <clears throat> Do you want to retain the keys, which is required to add users in the future, but less secure? So I'm not going to be adding any users for this one, but if you might, so you might select yes here. Do you want to enable DNS ad blocking? No, I do not. I just want a VPN. Do you want each user to have their own account for SSH tunneling? I don't see what the drawback is on that, so I'll say yes. And that's it. It's going out and generating all the things we need. Now enter your API token. Let's hop back over here to DigitalOcean. Generate a new token. And I will call it Algo. There it is. This is this will be destroyed soon after this video is complete. So if you're thinking you might swipe that up, uh, think again. Okay, what region should the server be located in? I am in the US. So we will select, hmm, let's go with NYC3. Oh, look at that, that's the default. And at this point, Algo is going to go do its thing. It's going to run all those Ansible playbooks in order to get the server all set up and humming. Okay, there we are. Congratulations. Our Algo server is running. Config files and certificates are in the dot slash configs directory. Go to whoer.net after connecting and ensure that all your traffic passes through the VPN. Local DNS resolver will be this. Okay. So let's hop over to here and let's see. what we got to do next. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it from my iPhone. So uh, WireGuard is used to provide the VPN services. You can also use the built-in IPsec, but I will go ahead and use WireGuard. I do have WireGuard app, which is a free open source application. I have that installed right here on my iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. It says that there is now a QR code in the WireGuard directory. Well, where's the wire guard directory? Configs. Uh, what are we looking for here? Configs. Nope. Files. Where does it throw those? Let's just look for a PNG file. Logo, firewalls, docs. Not in the docs. Not in the roles. What am I missing here? It says config files and certificates are stored in configs. So the configs. There's another configs directory in the configs directory. There's my IP address. There we go. It's buried. All right, so configs, this config, and for some reason, VS Code is trying to ignore that. Here we go. Desktop, laptop, phone. So there's my phone config. And again, this is just demo purposes. I will be destroying these. And there it is. Okay. So there is the QR code. I'll go ahead and click add a tunnel from QR code. Let it access my camera. Please name the scan tunnel. Just call it algo for now. And I'm going to allow it to add a VPN configuration. There we go. So 
I will then enable WireGuard on my phone. So the VPN is active. And let's go ahead and I was using what is my public IP, but they want us to use something I've never heard of. What is this? This is called whoer.net. W H E R dot N E T. Well, let's see if it works. There we go. Now my IP address is 134.122.0.176. And I am set up as going through DigitalOcean. So that is very simple indeed. Now you could also set it up on my laptop with the Wired Guard app in the App Store. Of course, it works for Android devices and Windows devices. So whatever you're running, it seems like you can get up and going with Algo VPN. Pretty stinking easy, folks. So there you have it. First run with Algo VPN, getting it set up, letting Ansible do its thing. Mostly it's running a few commands and waiting for it to set everything up, which is really pretty fast as well. And it just works. Once again, we had a great podcast episode of the changelog with Dan Guido, Algo VPN's creator. And we had a deep dive into how he made it, why he made it, all the details. I would definitely suggest that you give that a listen if you haven't yet. And that's all for now. Jared here, signing off.